Tyrese Halliburton is leading the NBA with 11.3 assists per game. Clear ahead of players like Jokic, Trey Young, and Luka, Halliburton is now in an elite class of passers. Not to mention the first player in NBA history with a ridiculous 40 assists and no turnovers in the last three games. There's no pass he can't make, no read he can't see, and is the engine of a revamped Pacers team competing for a playoff spot. In this breakdown, we will look at how Halliburton pushes the pace, creates easier shots for his teammates, and the best action the Pacers run for Halliburton and Heald. The best passers know to make themselves available. Halliburton does a great job as an outlet, getting his back to the sideline and making sure he gets his eyes down the court. The first option in every transition, of course, is the rim run. And Halliburton does a great job getting his eyes up early to always catch this. Jackson does a great job of sprinting and beating his man down the court. Halliburton does a great job noticing this and hitting him for the rim run. Halliburton making himself available also allows him to push the pace and see who's open early. He's able to find backdoor cuts, easier scoring opportunities first. What he does is always makes himself available with both hands, then turns and tries to find players ahead of him. When I teach this to my players, I call it taking a peek, which means as soon as the outlet pass is coming or the inbound pass is coming, you take a peek and look down court first and get a quick snapshot if you're getting pressure, if players ahead of you are open, and making sure you're always keeping your head on a swivel and being able to scan the floor. Halliburton does this automatically and then is able to push the pace directly after. What this does is allow him to see who's open, how early, and how he can manipulate the defense with his eyes. As he does here, noticing the rim run is open, looks off the help towards Buddy, and the rim runner here gets the dunk. He got this look off of the Lakers after a made basket, where he pushes the pace, notices that Turner's going to run in behind the defense, looks away so the two Laker players don't recognize it, hits Miles Turner in stride for the dunk. Halliburton's so good at pushing the pace off of makes that oftentimes you won't even see the pass because the broadcast is focused on the made basket and the player who made it, and it's too late, Halliburton's already scoring a layup against you. Getting his eyes up early allows him to find shooters in transition as well, his favorite target buddy healed, and look at all five players sprinting the floor knowing that a pass is possible from Halliburton in transition, he finds buddy healed trailing here. Great look off pass when attacking here with LeBron as the low man, looks at Jalen Smith and fires it to the corner three point shooter Nemhard for the three. Halliburton does a great job of recognizing where players are positionally, healed here as being patient and kind of trailing the play. As Halliburton gets it up the court, he notices healed in transition, who's able to attack a closeout. And the Pacers are pushing all the time off of missed free throws and everything. Mathurin does a good job of finding space here, available for the pass, and knocks down the three. And these pushes not only create confusion, but create easier scoring opportunities for the Pacers. While there's no direct scoring chance here, you can see all five Raptors are now focused on the ball, leaving Brissett on the backside open for the lob. And Halliburton does a great job of finding these backdoor lobs often. You can see him and Mathurin have a great connection in early offense and in transition. Another example of that here with Bogdanovich not paying attention and Matherin sneaking behind for the backdoor lob. And these pushes create confusion naturally because the defense is in chaos even after makes. Halliburton does a great job selling here with his eyes, then looking off the help defense and finds the rim runner slipping to the rim for the easy layup. And these no-look passes are something he does all the time in transition, and they're amazing. Look at this pass against the Wizards. He completely leaves Kuzma bewildered and caught in between two players. He looks off towards Heald. Kuzma jumps the pass, and he finds Matherin for the backdoor dunk. Look at this again. Kuzma jumps out to the pass as Halliburton looks him off, finds the easy backdoor pass. And after these pushes, if the direct advantage isn't there, he'll look to get quick flips or passes quickly to players shooting, specifically Heald in transition. He loves doing this little one-handed scoop flip as Buddy Heald sprints to his spot. He creates space, then flips back to Heald looking for transition threes. These flips aren't the only way they get scoring opportunities. He likes a nice little drop-off pass, or I call drop flips. As he drives right through the nail, he'll look for trailing bigs or players and kind of just do a quick little bounce pass for trailing bigs, looking for three-point shooting opportunities, or just drawing two and then flipping real quick to create confusion and transition. Here's a great example of Halliburton's value. After a free throw, he checks early down the court to see if anything's open, throws it ahead when he's got a player cutting to the rim, the Pacers do a good job of keeping the advantage here. As it gets all the way back to him, he becomes a connector and one more pass for the trail three. And having your point guard be an elite connector and making these one more and extra passes allow your offense to really shine. Here against the zone, he flashes into the middle and then 
relocates out to the three-point line, makes the extra pass for the corner three. And these type of connections are something that are really important for Halliburton to make quick swings and quick passing decisions that allow them to take advantage of any slip up the defense gives them off the ball. And when he drives, he's able to take advantage of his elite vision by noticing which players are open and which cutters are open. You can see him anytime he relocates out, he notices, even without looking at it, the player who's open and fires no-look passes and fires quick passes back to players so they can attack closeouts and keep the advantage going. The ball just doesn't stick with him. As an example here, we can see off their sideline out of bounds, a great passer would notice that the wide open layup off the slip is there. Halliburton still notices it even after the fact and hits healed for the three. Another example off their sideline out of bounds is the second option on the baseline here. When after Halliburton receives the pass, he already has his eyes up and recognizes that Neesmith's open in the corner, hits him for the pass and attacks the closeout. And this is why the Pacers use him as the inbounder in baseline and sideline out of bounds situations. He can recognize when a player trails and the shooter is going to be open. So they run this little screen to screener action. When the player trails, the shooter coming off healed is open. And when the player guarding the screen overplays, like Claxton in this scenario, the slip to the rim is then wide open as well. And Halliburton does a great job of scanning these options where he'll look for the back screen first and then recognize when the slip is going to be open. All it takes is one mistake from the defense and Halliburton's going to hit you for a wide open layup. Here he recognizes Ingram is sagging off in the lane off of Jalen Smith paying attention to the action at the top of the key. He throws a skip pass for the wide open corner three just recognizes every little advantage that he has on offense. Perhaps the biggest thing he provides in the half court besides ball screen attacking which we'll get to is his passing on time and on target. He will hit every shooter in stride and in their shooting pocket that allows them to either catch and shoot or be able to attack quickly. The pass is rarely off target. As you can see, even when he's pressured here, he creates space by driving shooter down first, then coming back to his left hand and hitting healed on the run, attacking and scoring off a floater. Not only initiating, but attacking closeouts and off ball driving kicks. His passing and court vision is on time and on target. Him and Heald have developed a really good connection and rapport and have great court awareness together. They feed off each other's driving kicks, but he's also able to recognize where the help is and find open shooters. But more importantly, when he makes the pass out or he drives and creates the advantage, his passes are so crisp. He hits people right in their shooting pocket, recognizes off-ball flare actions, and is just able to find players open. He's able to recognize mismatches as he drives here. Turner has his man sealed. Reeves on the high side, got the matchup advantage, rises for the shot, then finds Turner for the easy dunk. And of course, this incredible pass against the Lakers to beat them on the last second three, capping off his 40 assists and no turnovers in three games. Watch him pivot to create space, fire a left-hand bullet pass for the open three-point shot to win the game. Incredible. Now let's briefly talk about how a ball screen works so we know why he's making these reads and why they're the correct reads. In this scenario, Jackson's going to roll to the rim. If the strong side help Curry is the tag man, then it's an easy pass to the corner for a corner three. If Kyrie is tagging at the nail, then it's an easy pass across to Matherin for the three. And if Ben Simmons is the tag man low, which is the most common way NBA teams defend it, then it's a skip pass to the corner for a three. And if nobody tags them, then the roll man's obviously open. Here, Ben Simmons is a tag man, so the skip to the corner for Smith for the corner three is open. Handoffs also work the same way as a ball screen, so it's the same reads. Here, as Turner rolls to the rim, the read is Ingram. He looks off Ingram and forces him to react to the three-point line that opens up Turner on the roll. Now, the whole goal of a ball screen is to get two players on the ball, which makes the reads easier and advantage for the offense. Halliburton notices both players are staying attached to the corners. That leaves the roll man Turner open. The most common read when getting two players on the ball is to fire it to the short roller or in a space just in front of the roller to allow him to make a play, either a finish or a pass. This can also be a pocket pass as he comes off the ball screen here and there's a little pocket of space, bouncing it to allow the roller to drive to the rim. This pocket pass is a very common pass that pretty much every point guard has to have. Halliburton's got a great feel when to pass it in front, pass it behind, coming off a side ball screen and hitting players in stride to allow them to finish, and also be able to create space and allow them to catch it on the run so they don't have to slow down, similar to a shooter catching it. He also creates advantages, as you can see here, him jumping against Isaiah Stewart, jumping to block the shot, jumps almost out of bounds and hits the roll man behind waiting. 
This is most common on the baseline drives where you see him drive here against DeAndre Jordan. Watch Aaron Gordon react and worry about the player cutting opposite. Halliburton notices this and hits an easy drop off pass for the dunk. He also recognizes when the slip opportunity is open as he beats the 76ers here for the wide open dunk. They also run this Spain action a lot with the back screen on the ball screener here with Heald setting it. And this opens up the lob rolls more often than that. This is when Halliburton allows the players to go up and finish the dunks. You see they get the nets twice on it here with both players reacting to Heald, allowing Turner to get the layup. And this scenario, Jackson rolling to the rim with Simmons and O'Neal both reacting to Heald, allowing the roll to the rim to be open. The biggest weapon Halliburton uses in these situations are his eyes and his ball fakes. You can see him get Nance on a pump fake here, rise like he's going to shoot, then hit Turner on the roll. Another example here of getting his eyes to the rim, and as the drop coverage is beat, you can see the help defender react, and then he just finds the easy extra pass, creating a wide open three-point shot. He loves getting his eyes to the rim early, so you can see here as he comes off this ball screen, gets his eyes to the rim, checks out the rim, then gets the defense moving, ends up finding healed on the pick and pop off that Spain action we talked about. We mentioned the corner sagging off in ball screen scenarios, usually off of like non-threats or non-shooters. He'll catch out the players in the corner cheating as the Nets like to switch these actions and then switch the off-ball player in the corner. He caught them out twice in the same game with Simmons and then now Kevin Durant. As the player rolls, KD looks to help inside, ends up getting beat on that corner three. He can make a variety of passes to the pop man with a little drop-off pass here in the pocket. When the pocket's closed against the Timberwolves, he does a good job of getting a stride stop pass or a reverse pivot pass back to Turner. He's able to attack a closeout and then detonates on the defense. And he's able to find players with hook passes as well as he hits Jalen Smith here for the open corner three. When teams inevitably switch the pick and roll, he does a good job of creating an ISO, but also recognizing off ball movements. Claxton's going to be forcing him to his left. He sees Heald open up off the ball and then fires a beautiful left-hand pass right off a crossover. Just an incredible pass to make for a young player in the NBA. He loves to bounce and use a hesitation dribble to create some space for him off the big and then find players either cutting or spotting up afterwards. Here you can see Stewart switches onto him, hits him a little hesitation, the corner sags, finds the open corner three-point shooter. Another example of that here against the Heat, he catches the off-ball switching help as Martin kind of sags in on the player rolling behind Turner, able to catch that out and find healed for the open three. And by far the favorite action that they run in their offense is this ghost screen action where Heald fakes a ball screen for Halliburton and then picks and pops for an open three-point shot or creates a ton of confusion, gets two on the ball here against the Heat. Heald just pops easily out to the three-point line for a wide open three-point shot. And this creates confusion that allows downhill driving angles as well. As you can see here, completely blown by the Wizards. The corner man helps in here. It's an easy kick for Neesmith for the corner three. I'm honestly so impressed with Halliburton's court vision, his patience, his poise, and his ability to use all the tricks as a young player in the NBA already. He's just getting started, and I cannot wait to watch more. Thank you so much for watching this breakdown. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you did, please consider subscribing and supporting the channel through Coach's Cut.